Hi there everyone, it's me, your favorite Romanian region, and today we finally return to Hoi Fortieno. And as per your request, today we are doing Spears Path in Germany. And uh, first I have to say, I I miss these old German borders and these graphics. Like, I understand some people don't like it, but I personally just love this look. It's just so amazing. Anyway, so before we begin... I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe, I'm gonna ask you to pray for my soul right now. Because if you play TNO, then you know just how long it takes to play until 1973 or 10 years. I will have to do it about 2 or 3 times. So please pray for my soul, because I'll need that. With that, let's get started. Now, as you know, our thousand year Reich under the genius leadership of our Fuhrer Adolf Hitler will forever last and the next conquest of the Reich will be to set a man to the moon. First I'm not even going to bother to try and reorganize this manly, I'm just going to take them all down and begin from the start. Oh my god I literally realized we just we literally have the mouse tank over here. This is completely useless. I just love to imagine in 1962 there are still German pa Panzer 8 mouse tanks riding around. We do at least have some decent tanks. Yeah, th this is pretty good. Now to keep it short for those new here, Martin Bormann is the conservative and um, I would just like to say that it took me about three hours of messing around with the, f with the Paradox folder in order to get the newest version to run for me. So, um, the Gilded Reich Marshal Hermann Göring is in the. He basically got into politics a bit too late, and the only faction that at that point would accept him were the militarists. Oh, yeah, and the missile crisis between um, Japan and America over here about Hawaii and these ports over here just ended. So, we just avoided nuclear annihilation, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I am. I'm going to start reducing my nuclear arsenal because um, since we are going reformist, um, we don't wish to spend such huge amounts of money for already having enough, um, for, all, for already pretty much having more nukes than Japan and America combined. That's at least how I'm going to justify it. And last but certainly not least, Albert Speer. Basically, he was the guy that created the current slave economy that is uh, slowly but surely crippling the Reich. But considering that now he realizes that the Reich needs reform and is really the only major political figure willing to say that out loud, he basically became the spearhead of the student protests currently in Germany to achieve liberalization and uh, political freedom. And we have landed on the moon. Oh, and I literally just forgot about him, but this is, um... He is Reinhard Heydrich, the blonde beast and Himmler's left hand in the SS. Yeah, just to keep it short, we don't want this guy. For the love of Christ, keep him out of politics. And now, because everything is going so well, we will start to, to convene the Reichstag. Believe me, everything will be just alright. Trust me. And an assassin strikes the Fuhrer. A house divided. Adolf Hitler, hit with the realization of his coming mortality, holds a speech to the nation. After minutes of ramblings, he puts his words together and announces that his successor will be the reformer Albert Speer. And now, you will just have to, strike to start this power struggle. Now we will have to complete these focuses to reform our economy, um, cripple our opponents and try to keep the Reich from going to hell. This is the Gang of Four, keep these guys in mind. These are the guys that want to reform and liberalize the Reich economically and um, politically. They want to basically make Germany democratic, while Speer wants to reform the Reich economically, but to still keep a leash on the political freedoms of the people, kind of like uh, China did when it reformed. This is why he is called Dengist Speer, as in Deng Xiaoping, the guy who reformed China. 
So yeah, Germany in this mode under Speer is basically just China. If if Speer win. And the and the diplomatic play to keep Bulgaria in our sphere of influence has started. Trust me, I got used to this. You will see at the end of this video an incredibly big Solverein or Ein Heizpakt, depending on how you want to call it. Oh no, Paul Joseph Goebbels has died. Truly, the death of a great man. YouTube have mercy. <laughs> ah, and Italy overplayed their game. You could then, you can only go out to a maximum of ten points, and Italy went to ten. S I guess it sucks to suck, Italy. Alright, now we can start intervening in the conflict in Madagascar. And if we do it right, we can probably win it. And I think after this we will win the Bulgarian conflict. The conflict in Madagascar has started, we will send our support. Now let's deal with the conflict in Madagascar. Believe me, you do not understand, but the amount of concentration I need to manage both, both my nation's politics and this war is just unbelievable. We will send our volunteers to Madagascar, and we will win. AND WE WIN! I had to reload like once, but we won. I intend to win as many of these conflicts as possible, I don't care. Hell yeah. And we did it with like, what, a hundred days to spare. I like that start. Yep, and unfortunately we have done too little, and it's too late. And, unfortunately, the Fuhrer is dead. One... One second of quiet to mourn his death. It is all collapsing and all the world roads are rising up. And the civil war begins. So, it begins. I expect this to be really easy, personally. Because I have quite a bit of experience with this. And we have defeated uh, Borma, um, sorry, Göring's Germany. Now we only have to take out Bor Borman and then taking out this guy over here will be easy, no problem. Don't you even worry. And we have one, with minimal casualties and minimal loss of equipment. Now, since we are going reformist, we will of course be trying to liberalize Germany. But before that I would like to win the South African War. Der Krieg im Sudan. Uh, I think they're doing well, no they're, they are not doing well. We need to rush down there to help them. Alright, listen. We will um, try to get to help our our allies in Africa and try getting back our sphere. We will quickly try creating a mechanized um, to send to Africa. Der Krieg im Sudan. Im Sudan. I do love me some German. We will avoid an escalation, although we will win. I can say that confidently. Hopefully. Maybe. We can't yet send divisions to Africa. Denmark joins the Einheitspakt. Now we also get the opportunity to fight over influence in England. And I won't get England in my pact. Now we will suspend the persecution. Now we can finally get involved in this war in South Africa, which is going real badly. My hope is that I can actu actually turn it back. Oh god, it's going off. It's going so badly. I'm gonna have to do a, a ton of microing just to prevent total collapse in this region. Right, let's get to it. Right, let's send our troops to Africa. Yep, and in a day they instantly all went to Africa. 
Right, let's send our air force to Africa. Right. The most annoying thing is that I have to manage each, each of these divisions individually. There, there's no like con like united uh, command of these troops. I have to do it each individually, which uh, is pretty annoying, but I can manage. Now Tresco has some demands to lower the draft. Now because you're going reformist, we will of course accept it. But just keep this event in mind since it will come um, important in later. We will deregulate the prices. We will ally with the Americans against Japan. We will begin an entrepreneurship initiative. We will take a very harsh approach. No exception. All eyes are on us and we will not disappoint. Yeah, I think my Reich Commissariats um, have this handled at this point. I know that um, they will betray me and leave me, but better they collapse Africa than for the Americans to have it. Alrighty, now we can start negotiations with the Poles. Peacefully this time, alright? Guys, peacefully. There you go. Let's help them end this war. They fought long enough. Nearly a million casualties on both sides. Now we will negotiate with the Poles and we will try to be as generous as possible. And Cape Town, ha Cape Town has fallen. This will cost us in terms of regime stability but we will try to appease as much as possible. The Poles. The Poles deserve rights. And we finally win. It's been long enough. And Poland has joined us and they are only national conservatives. That's alright. Das Schwert, das Democles. Now that we have dealt with our internal problems and reconquered our sphere of influence, we will shake the very foundations of the rotten old industrial structure and its industrial giant. Now we get a new focus tree to reform our economy. And first we will go over here to encourage entrepreneurship, education and to sunline the mega corporations and also to reduce our insane income tax. Now we can start dismantling the mega corporations. I'm also creating some mountaineer divisions for um, some future conflict in certain regions with a lot of mountainous terrain that is a pain to fight in. The great tax reduction, man 25%, that's a lot but it's necessary to grow our economy really fast. Now England is finally entering our sphere, slowly. And officially England is in the Einheits Pact, so this worked. And we will allow our new conquered lands a lighter hand in our rule. So, um, Jeff begin dismantling and uh, doing some antitrust directives in all of these blue zones over here. And we have also begun construction on uh, the... Oh how, god, how do I pronounce this? Hi there, it's me, post-editing Romanian region. As you might have noticed, uh, something went quite wrong. And by quite wrong, I mean that I have lost about 5 hours of recording. So I'll give you a short resume of what I did. In my first playthrough, we, basic we basically modernized and liber and depoliticized our army. We cut what was once Göring's personal piggy bank in the air force and we made the Kriegsmarine a global navy that could challenge the Americans on all seas. We decided we decided to improve our alliance with the Americans and of talking a better trade deal with the Americans, of treating the Untermensch better and of trying to reset the doomsday clock. And after crippling the corrupt mega corporations, we created a social market with a good mix of both capitalistic and state intervention in order to create a growing but stable economy for everyone. And we also gave our subjects in the East just a guiding hand to show them that we really cared. And once the Gengo and once the oil crisis hit, the Gengo 4 was able to steer Germany in their direction, take control and bring Germany into a new democratic era, where presumably after the death of Speer, Germany becomes a democracy. And we also formed the Coalition der Nationen, or a version of the UN, but led by Germany. Now, now that the sword has fallen, it's time for Speer to take action. Those so-called protesters that are vandalizing in our streets, that are being violent out there. It is time to round them up and get rid of them. We, we are also preparing once again to invade the Shoners with them in Moscow. It is... It is much clear from the current events that the decentralized approach to how our police responds to these protests has been woefully underprepared. 
it is time that the federal government takes a centralized approach to this. Just the idea of subsidizing oil is an insane concept that will bankrupt our nation and that will doom its future economic potential. We will not do that and we will enforce a strict oil rationing. Hitler was wrong on many things, but one thing he was not wrong upon was autarky. If a nation is to survive in the long term, it has to be self-sufficient, not dependent on the whims of some nations far away and dependent on their stability. Now it is time to launch Operation Fall Otto and bring down Fernand Schoner. Now that we have dealt with Schoner's rebellion, it is time to finally deal with the slave rebellion. Oh, and Speer's overseeing protection force has something different in mind. And we shot him. What have we done? What I want to do from the beginning. Call everyone in and go. They don't stand a chance. Hey, and Joseph Ebbs now is a new friend of Speer in his new gang of four. Oh, and look at that. In seems like Theodor Oberlander is now the leader of Germany. It seems like the party truly has taken over. And we have defeated them. And it seems like the like Reichland Balticum is independent from us, but it's still in our economic sphere. And now all of these are once again Reich Commissariats. And now the status quo has been settled. On one on one side we have the reformist truly defeated and waiting one day in the future for an opportunity to return. On the other hand, the Fuhrer, weakened and basically a puppet to the Nazi party. And in the center we have Theodor Oberlander. And from now on, it is clear that Germany's future shall be one in which the party holds sway. At least for, as long, at least for a long while. And just like the Tsar, Willy Brandt was killed in a basement, in cold blood. No glory, no publicization, only sadness in the press. And so... Europe shall wither. Yes, and things are turning to how they were before. Increased military spending and preferential treatment to the four major companies. And it and it seems like Tomsk is uh, gonna unite Russia and is gonna bring a utopian socialist democratic era to Russia. So, at least while in Germany the sun sets, in Russia it may once again rise. You know, Speer might have been just another Nazi that wanted to just reform the system enough in order to keep Nazism for as long as possible. But at, le but at least he actually want to do some reform, unlike this guy. The, uh, this time you will go back to avoid such a depressing ending where Germany eventually just dies. So um, this time we will agree to give them some... We will agree to the abolition of slavery, alright. We will also abolish the Nuremberg Laws. Because that will avoid us uh, having to go to war with these guys. Freedom of speech, that is so overrated, come on. Mo the monopolies will have to stay, alright guys? We don't really need to democratize. Come on guys, it's better under German. And now, Germany's fate will be decided. Let's see what it is. And now, Speer is truly in charge. May he rule forever ju and be as successful if not more successful than Hitler. And now all of these nations are followed the ideology of reformed national socialism, and our and our faction, as well as our economic sphere, pans the globe. Now that we are Dengish beer, the dream has finally come true. And the Reich's fate shall be one carved out of Speer's and Hitler's dreams. And the gang of war shall be reigned in. Germany shall from now on be defined by three values. Ein Volk, Ein Reich und Ein Führer. And now Germany and the world will enter a new era once again. And now it is time to once again form the Coalition der Nationen. Oh, I love that. In the first ending, Speer was pretty depressed because he got dabbed on by the Gang of Four and, become, and he became a puppet Führer. Germany becomes a, an authoritarian democratic nation. And likely after the death of Speer becomes a fully fledged democracy. In the second ending, he fails to negotiate with the, to negotiate with the slaves. And in the ensuing political crisis, the hardliners in Germany push aside both the reformists and Speer himself. 
taking power and reverting Germany back, likely to collapse soon after. And in this third and final ending, Speer defeats both the hardliners and the reformists and creates a fascist totalitarian state with a lot more economic freedoms that will likely last on a lot longer. This is again the reason why people call him Dengish Speer, as in Deng Xiaoping, because Otherwise, without him, the ideology of Nazism would have collapsed, but thanks to him, the Nazis will still rule for many decades more. Now, even more wealthy. Bis zum nächsten Mal und einem schönen Tag. Hey there, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I put quite a lot of work into these videos, and I hope you enjoy them. See you!